right what is going on guys back with another video and today we're gonna be talking about five things five, i think it's six things i think i chose six yeah i think i chose six we're gonna be talking about six things that i do not like about my 2010 camaro or 15 camaro whichever you want to call it and so yeah we're gonna get straight into that video but before we get into the video please leave a like and if you're ready uh subscribe hit that notification bell so you can get all the new videos that i post because for some reason when I post a video, like the first few hours, it, it does all right. But then like maybe 15 hours later, it just skyrockets out of nowhere. So hit that notification button so you can get all the new videos that I post on time. But yeah, before we get into the video, let's get you guys with a nice cold start. <laughs> That, that coaster was clearly a joke. This thing doesn't even have enough freaking uh, aftermarket exhaust on it yet. So that's gonna be. A, I'm trying. I'm trying to get something worked out with that pretty soon. I, I just haven't had the chance to do anything because you know, Corona. So yeah, I haven't had a chance to really do anything with this car yet. Because I, as soon as I planned it, I planned on getting back home. Planned on doing so much to this car that I haven't had a chance to do yet. That's awkward. <laughs> but as soon as I had got home, I planned on doing so much stuff to this car. Haven't had a chance to do anything yet with this car, modification-wise, besides tint, and that was it. So, yeah, I'm going to try to get into that really soon. Hopefully, when everything starts opening back up for good, for good. So, yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, but before I start, before I say anything about the car, what I don't like, I just want to preference that I love this car. Just like the Mustang. I don't know which one I like more, really. I really don't. I have my days of which one I want to drive, so just a full disclaimer, love this car, amazing car so far, enjoying it for like the last, what, two, three months? So yeah, just wanted to get that out there. So first, and these aren't in any particular order, these are just things that came to mind that I wrote down on the list. So yeah, let's get into it. For no, The first thing is the clutch. Boy. Well, it's really not the, the clutch itself, it's the clutch pedal. The main issue is with the clutch pedal and how high it engages. So right now my knee is pretty much hitting the uh, steering wheel. I mean, I can I usually raise it up, but uh, this is just for video purposes. Like it's dang near hitting the steering wheel when I fully, ooh, almost out. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> trying to make the video. But um, it pretty much touches the steering wheel when I'm, uh, releasing the clutch which is really freaking high so like when i first got this car i would stall maybe once every time i started driving it because i was it's just so hard to get used to how high this clutch engages because you'll think your foot is all the way out but the clutch is still you know whoa, whoa going to six okay there we go but you know the clip you're still like the clutch is still traveling until it's completely disengaged which is weird. That's a nice Camaro. I wonder what it's doing sitting in the parking lot. Probably doing a hand drive. But yeah, that's that's one of the main things I didn't like about this car when I first got into it. It's just I remember when I first started driving it and I was coming off a hill, the car was rolling back for so long because I'm like, all right, where does the clutch engage? Where does the clutch engage? And I think that was like the when I first started driving it home because I was used to the Mustang clutches that I was test driving because I originally was going to get a Mustang. And so I was used to their clutches like engaging at like a, I wouldn't say a normal engagement point, but a more further down engagement point instead of this one being all the way at the top, which is something I'm still, I'm still trying to get used to. Here and there, I would like almost stop, but I always catch it now. But yeah, this is something I really don't freaking like. I wish that you could change it, like lower it a little bit. Like if it was a little bit lower, that would be so much better. But for right now, you really can't do anything about that. But other than that, it's a really good clutch pedal feel. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. Where you think you're just about to, where you think your clutch is completely gone or whatever. 
They never had any issues with it sticking to the floor or anything like that. So, so far it's it's done me right. The next thing on the list is the shifter. Now, the shifter it's great. It's overall it's great for just daily driving and everything like that. But really not like really really notchy compared to the Mustangs I was test driving before I got this car. It was it, this is extremely notchy. So notchy to the point to where if you're trying to rip gears or go really fast and you want to go back fast, you really got to like muscle it into the gear. And it's not like you're messing up with the synchros or anything like that. You're just trying to beat the the notchiness of the trend or the, the shifter itself. Because usually when I'm you know switching in the gears faster fast enough, I you know never hear a grinding or anything like that. So never messing with the synchros or anything like that. It's just how notchy this thing is to where if you try to yank it back fast, it's pretty much gonna fight you. It's not like a lockout on the 2011 to 20 um, 20 Mustangs. This is completely different. You're not getting locked out. It's just pretty much fighting you because of how notchy the shifter is. And I'm not sure if you can change that with like a quick shifter or whatnot. Not too, not too sure. Uh, I, I don't change plan, plan on changing this at all because I, I overall like it. It's just not good for racing, and I barely race this car. So if I decide to turn this into like a full-time track car, maybe. But as of right now, heck no. Overall, it has a really good throw. It's not too, too much of a long throw from factory, which is great. But overall, I like it. The way you it feels in your hands feels amazing, feels natural. Um, so yeah, that's all I got to say about the shifter. The next thing I dislike about this car is the freaking cup holder placement. Oh my lord! I don't know what they were thinking when they decided to say, "Hey, let's put cup holders right behind the shifter." That's such a great idea. So the, the, sh the cup holders right here are right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I have my phone over it, but I'm not too sure if you guys can see it because I can't exactly see what my GoPro is looking at besides what I, what directly I'm looking at in front of me because I, that's how I set it up for before I started making this video. But if you have anything, let's just put my Germex right in this area. But yeah, if anything's in the cup holder, like my arms, like I'm so used to like adapting my arm to it automatically when something's a cup holder that I automatically just contour my arm in a weird way, like coming this way which is really it feels really weird or i bring my arm up really high just so i can shift over it which is not normal i don't know what they were thinking i know i think in the newer ones they have it offset to the side i think i'm not too sure i've only driven one of those but it was automatic so i really wasn't paying attention to a couple of the placement and it's it's really crazy because like i never really have anything in my uh car because because of the cup holder placement itself. Yeah, but I never really have any like drinks or anything in my car, unless it's like a water bottle or anything I could just toss on the floor over there or in the back because of just a cup holder placement, which I hate so much. Uh, I wish you can like do something to change it because like other than that, I never really have anything in my car. The next thing I'm not too fond of is the entertainment system. The entertainment system is amazing in this car. It's just the um, or the speakers in this car are really great, really, really great. They sound a lot better than my Mustang, and my Mustang has an aftermarket subwoofer and aftermarket speakers that sound great. And they sound so much better than the aftermarket speakers I have in my Mustang currently. I have a, an entirely different sound system than it came from, from factory in that car. And this car sounds so much better than my Mustang from factory already. And I don't plan on putting a subwoofer or anything in there because I just, I like having the trunk space because <laughs> with the Mustang, I have no trunk space because of that, the subwoofer. But the, oh, my overall complaint is just this bland stereo system. My Mustang literally had, had before I changed it out for a new one, had almost an exactly same entertainment system far as how basic it is. Like all this really just listen to music and that's it. <laughs> I mean, if you plug in your phone with the audio jack, like I have with this one, because I have the base model, so I don't have the Bluetooth version. I could get that installed, but I'm probably going to change this out for the 2014 to 2015 one. Or it's really the newer gen one that I'm going to change it out for, possibly. Either that, I'm just going to change it out for a whole new, like, different brand stereo. For a 2010 to be almost compared to a 2005, that's really, really freaking crazy. 
like I could you could tell the budget for this car was not put into the radio itself I mean it was put into the speakers and everything else but the radio itself heck no they say freak that they're gonna get what they get and if they don't like it then oh well they can try another car that's pretty much the vibe you get from this ancient ancient radio system and the last thing I'm gonna touch on possibly the last thing is the steering wheel the steering wheel is it has a really great feel my only complaint is the hand placement in my Mustang I'm used to having my fingers like a, a tad bit lower to all, almost right here where it's more comfortable but for this one you have to have it like maybe I think this is a little bit above 10 and 3 a little bit above 10 and 3 and you can you can all you can really feel that difference when it's a little bit above 10 and 3 it's crazy to say yes it's a minuscule difference but you can really feel the difference compared to the Mustang where the hand placement is a lot more normal Ooh, that's a nice Mustang hey buddy trying to run it no nah, i'm just kidding actually I, this this camaro probably will be able to keep up with that type of mustang or that year mustang because of the just the horsepower and the torque difference is almost the same so i don't know i'll probably have a video coming to you guys on that because my friend has one he has a little bit modified so it's not going to be an equal representation of stock for stock but we'll see the steering wheel overall feels great feel is very very responsive compared to the mustang it's just my only complaint is just the hand placement of it so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video please remember to hit that like button if you guys are new hit the subscribe button hit that bell as well so you guys can always get the videos that i post because remember like i said the videos they do they do all right for about first 15 hours or so and then after that they just skyrocket like crazy so hit that notification button so you guys can get the uh video notifications when i post a new video every time so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video this channel has been going up like crazy and I'm thankful for you guys and if you guys have a fifth gen Camaro or any type of car comment down below the worst thing you hate about your vehicle and so we can start a discussion so we can see you know all the different types of things about cars that people just don't like so let's start the discussion down below I'll probably kick it off maybe maybe not I don't know I kind of kicked it off with the video so yeah leave a comment below about what the the worst thing you hate about your vehicle it can be any type of vehicle doesn't matter what it is any type of car SUV whatever let's just start a discussion and I want to thank you guys because the channel has just been continue to rise like crazy it's been blowing back up because previously like I said this was my gaming channel and it was going crazy i just got tired of playing games so i decided to change it over to my car channel and for my surprise you guys love it so let's keep it going thank you guys for tuning in to another video hopefully you guys liked it and yeah peace out